mathematicians. We are working on two in three, one this week. We're moving away from the data and we're going to switch gears and we're going to start working with fractions. Ooh, isn't that kind of scary? That's so cool. I love fractions. So this standard tells us that we're going to identify parts of a set and area that represents halves, thirds, and fourths. Do you know what those look like? We'll look at them in a second. So let's say that you're brother or sister gets a candy bar and your mom tells your sister she has to break it in half so that the two of you can share. To break it in half, she needs to break into two equal parts that are the same size. She has to break it in one half for you and one half for her. So that's kind of how one of the ways that we use it in the real world. Let's look at some examples. So fractions, it, it just means parts of a whole. So you have a whole piece of pie and then a fraction is the part that you eat. So they're written with a numerator, which is the top number and a denominator. Let me show you. So we're looking at this one. What pieces are colored in? Two. So that's the numerator because it's a top button. Top number it tells us which one's colored in. And then you make a line like this and then you put, write down the denominator, and the denominator is the bottom number, and it tells you the whole. So you count one, two, three. There's three parts to this whole thing, and two of them are colored in. And how we read that is two thirds. Okay. How many is not colored in? You do one, and then the whole, and then the bottom. So that would be one third. Two thirds are colored blue, one third is colored white. Okay, so numerator is on the top, denominator is on the bottom. You can think denominator downstairs. That's how you remember the denominator is on the bottom, okay? So the picture here, you could also, let's see, let me show you another way that sometimes, because it's hard to type with them like that, sometimes it's a slanted line like this. So if you see a slanted line, that also means two thirds and one half. So it can be written like this or like this, okay? Thing, look, we have four hearts, okay? So that number, oh, let me get my pencil out. So that's our total. The denominator is the total, remember, denominator is the total. And then how many are shaded? One, two, three, just count them. That's a crazy looking three, isn't it? So you just read it three, four. So you say the number on top and then the bottom number is like, you put the TH on the end of it. Um, unless it's a two, then you say halves. So look like this one on here. So what's the total? Two, the denominator, denominator downstairs. Okay, and then how much is shaded? one so it's one half you don't say one seconds or one twos uh, when you have a, the two on the bottom it's gonna be a half um okay does that sound good that sounds pretty easy already right huh yeah you just count it's just counting that's all it is what to do i tell you every week to go grab a whiteboard so if you didn't bring a whiteboard to this lesson go grab your whiteboard okay wonderful all right so you're gonna have to rely on um, older sibling or an adult to help you with this one because it's a lot of drawing and dividing and I can't see those to know if you've done it correctly. But you can check yours with mine. But if yours doesn't look quite right, you're like, mm, mine doesn't really look like that. Take it to an older sibling or an adult to have, to have them check it, okay? And tell them what you need. So our first one says, draw a circle and divide it into halves, color one half. So it wants you to do this. So draw a circle that represents that, okay? Pause the video and do the drawing. Come back and check to see if yours looks similar to mine, okay? So pause the video now. Okay, so let me see, I might have a shape. Do I have a shape? Well, this is an oval. Look, so that's kind of like that. Yeah. And then let's do freehand. Okay. So 
I know I'm not gonna be able to cut, do this perfectly. Oh no. Okay, so I have my circle. And then I'm very poorly gonna color in a half of it. One, because this tells me this number right here tells me how much to color in. Okay. And it says to color in one. And this tells me how many pieces to draw. So I drew two pieces. Woo. And I very poorly colored in that one half of it. Let's do this. Let me see if we can get my line. There we go. Here, there's a perfect line. So there you can see on my line there, we have one, two halves. I colored in one of them. Does yours look similar to that? I bet yours looks better than that. That was hard to color in. All right, look at this one. This one says, draw a circle and divide it into thirds. Now, if your mind is having trouble, like how am I going to get three pieces out of this? Um, and then remember, it's asking you to do equal pieces. Equal pieces. So if I just drew a line from here to here, that's three pieces, but they're not equal. So if this was a uh, pizza, and I had to share this with two other people. Well, if I took this one big piece here and gave this this two pieces, one to you and one to your sister, that's not very fair, is it? I'm getting a much bigger piece. So when it's asking you to divide to divide them into whatever, they mean equally. Okay. So think of let's get let's get the oval down here again or the circle. All right, so think of like a pie or a pizza, and you have there's you and two others that need to eat this, and everybody wants an equal half. Nobody wants a bigger half than someone else. How can you divide this equally to get it to two thirds? And this is what the fraction looks like. We have two thirds, okay? So three is our whole, and then two is the number that we're going to color in. All right? So pause the video now and see if you can get that. Now, it's not perfectly even. Yours might not be either, but it's close. They're pretty close to being even. So you draw the line and then two branches off of it. But it says two-thirds. It wants two-thirds colored. So how many do I need to color? We just talked about this. Two. So there's one, two, poorly colored in. I bet you colored in yours a lot better. Okay. All right. Does yours look similar to that? Okay, good. You can always have a sibling or an adult. Check it if you're unsure. All right, next one, a square. Ooh, divide a square into fourths. Color one fourth. Okay, so let's write that out. So. It wants it into four, so that will be the whole, all the parts, oops, all the parts, and then, let's erase that, um, that'll be all the parts, and then the number on top will be what? Oops, sorry, couldn't get my color in there, all right, and then, so it says, that, how many here, what's that word? One. So coloring in one fourth. So we only color in one of them. All right. So draw your square, square, divide it into fourths, color one of them, pause the video, and then come back and check your work. Okay, let's see. Woo, I have a big box, huh? All right. Let's do our line. Let's make our line blue this time. So it says to do it in fourths. So that's the best way to do it to get them even. You just draw a T. And then it says color one fourth of them. So I'm just coloring in one of the four squares. So this is the easiest way to do it. Is this how you did yours? Yeah. 
This is an easy way to do one fourth. So if you're not sure, if you didn't, maybe you did horizontal lines. So you gotta make sure that they're even, so they're div divided evenly. But if it's not like this, if you didn't do it like this, take it to someone and have them check it to make sure that you did one fourth, okay? All right, let's look at the next part. What fraction of the shape is shaded? So you have to write it like I had said. So remember, the denominator is the whole, it goes on the bottom, and the numerator is the part that's colored in, and you put that on top. So pause it, write your fraction down, and then come check your answer, okay? Okay, so our total, one, two, I just count. That's so easy. That's the wonderful thing about fractions. Um, you're just counting right now. And how many is colored in? One. So one half of the shape is shaded. Okay, look at this one. What fraction of the shape is shaded? Okay, pause the video. Write your fraction down like this. And then unpause the video to check your answer. So pause the video now and write down your answer. Okay, so one, two, three is the whole. I'm gonna write a three, put my fraction line. And then my numerator is the part that's shaded and there's one, two pieces shaded. So it is two thirds, two thirds of the shape is shaded. They did their even, they divide their circle into much better even slices than I did or mine, didn't I? Didn't they? Yeah. All right, let's keep going. Okay, here's some word problems. Now I'm going to read these to you, but you do need to get used to reading these by yourself. So you need to make sure that you can recognize words like draw, square, equal parts, that sort of thing, okay? So let's read this. Draw a square and divide it into four equal parts. Color three parts. What fraction of the square did you color? So on your whiteboard, draw a square. Okay, if you need a second to draw yours, oops. Pause the video, of course. All right. I know these make it very big. I don't know why it makes them so big. All right, so I drew my square. And it says to divide it into equal parts. Okay. So it says divide it into how many equal parts? Four. So we just did that a little bit ago. Remember? How do we do that? All right. We did the T. Okay. So yours should look like this so far. Do you have that? Okay, now it's saying color three parts. Okay, so if you need more time than I take to color, of course, pause the video. But color in three of them. One. It can be any three. I'm going to do diagonals. Two. I'm going to color this one in. Three. It doesn't matter which three you color in as long as three of them are colored. So what fraction of the square did you color? Now that part I want you to write down your whiteboard. Write that on your whiteboard right now and then check your answer. Okay, so the total one, two, three, four goes on the bottom. And then the part I colored is the numerator. It goes on top and it told me to color three. So I colored three parts. So this is three fourths of the square is colored. Did you put three fourths? Good. Okay, draw a rectangle. That's another word you need to be able to recognize. And divide into three equal parts. Color one part. What fraction of the rectangle did you color? All right, so find my box again. Okay, rectangle. Draw your rectangle. Okay, it wants us to do it into three parts. It's 
kind of even. My middle one's a little bit, a little bit bigger than my other two, but you have it in three parts, right? Good. And it says the color how many? Color one part. So get my purple out again. And I'm gonna color. Oops. I'm gonna color one part. So I want you to color one part. Okay. All right. So what fraction of the rectangle did you color? Write the fraction on your whiteboard and check your work. Okay. So the denominator is the whole, the total number. So that would be three this time. The numerator is the part you colored, which was one. So it's one third. I want you to say that after me because fractions are pronounced a little differently. And they're written a little different. We haven't gotten to spelling them yet, but you need to know how to say them so that when it comes to it, you can spell them if you have to. So repeat after me, one third. Yeah, good. Okay, last one. Or not the last one, sorry. Um, draw a triangle and divide it into two equal parts. Color one part. What part of the triangle did you color? So. Draw your triangle. I don't have that shape. I have this one, though. Okay, draw your triangle. And it says divide it into two parts. So the best way to do that, you want them equal. So you just divide straight down the middle. Okay? And how many parts does it want us to color? Color one part so i need my free hand tool so on yours color one part all right so what part of the fraction did we color the denominator is the whole goes on bottom denominator downstairs the numerator goes on top and that's the part we colored, which was one. So that is one half. We colored one half of the triangle. So say that after me, one half. Yeah, that's how you pronounce that one. Good. All right. Let's look at this one. We have two more. Two more to do. You do not have to draw in on this one. So, all right. So look at this one. What, fr what fraction is shaded? Total number goes on bottom. Shaded part goes on top. Write that down, check your answer. Okay, so total number is four. Boom. What part is shaded? Three. Three fourths. Say that after me. Three fourths. Good. Is that what you got? Three fourths? Good. What about the last one? Very last one we're doing together today. What fraction is shaded? Okay. Write down your, your fraction. Okay. The denominator is the what? The whole. All the parts together. And what should the denominator be? Remember, denominator downstairs. The denominator should be three. And what number should be on top? The numerator, same numerator, numerator, okay? And so that is the part that is what? Colored in. So what would we write here? Two. So the answer is two thirds. Okay, repeat after me, two thirds. Yeah, that's how you say that. Oh, this week's gonna be so easy for you. You're gonna have fun with fractions. I just know it. All right, great job today, Matthew.